Okay, so financially. Planning for current and future patient care coupled with the hospital's financial position is dependent on forecasting our financial position not only immediately but in future years. Um, you've talked in the past about the costs associated with COVID and the strain that um, those costs have placed on Cahuilla Delta's financial position, um, which has only been at a 2% margin. How do we determine the best course of action to continue providing for the health care of our community? Yeah, that uh, excellent question. I wish the CFO was here to answer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's no doubt about it. Uh, well, first and foremost, you know, our, our focus has all been about providing the, the health care that our community needs and our employees. And um, that will always take precedent uh, over the economic aspect of a hospital. Uh, but oftentimes you hear, you know, no margin, no mission. Um, so even though we're not-for-profit tax exempt, it doesn't mean we can't survive without a profit. It just mm -hmm. means that we reinvest all of that profit back into our hospital, back into our community. It doesn't go to, you know, shareholders or people that own the hospital. Um, and this has had a devastating uh, financial impact um, on the organization. I, I think I shared with you March, which wasn't even a full month, um, was a, a, a very significant um, operating loss for us. Not so much of the expense of um, responding to the pandemic, but more just the loss of revenue from cutting um, all of these services and, and uh, you know, ramping them down. And that now we have a full month of that in April and we'll have a half a month of that in May. So it will take time um, for us to financially recover. Um, as an organization. Obviously, we, we hold out a lot of hope that the various stimulus bills, the CARES Act, one, two, three, and hopefully four, that there are hundreds of billions of dollars that have been earmarked uh, for hospitals to help them with this financial recovery. Uh, the American Hospital Association reported yesterday that by their estimates, um, U.S. hospitals are losing $50 billion a month. Um, because of the, um, you know, the lost revenue. So mm -hmm. what we implemented here is what's been implemented every hospital across the country. Unfortunately, we're large enough um, and have the depth of financial reserves that we can weather this, mm -hmm. but a lot of hospitals um, can't. And, right. and you will see a lot of hospitals close. Um, so again, I would say part of this demobilization is to try to begin forecasting you know, what the future will look like. We, we actually happen to be in the middle of our budget cycle right now. Mm -hmm. So we're a June 30 uh, fiscal year end. So we normally would be right now in the midst of preparing the, the budget for the next fiscal year that'll start on July 1. And I, I commend, you know, mm -hmm. Melinda Tupper, our CFO, and, uh, and so many of our folks, they're still working on their budgets. They're all go-to meetings now but they are literally putting together the financial forecast for the next 12 months. Um, then once we're done with the next 12 months, we certainly will be forecasting, you know, what it will look like, say, over the next two, three, four years. Uh, earlier this morning, our executive team all came together to kind of forecast what are going to be our capital expenditure um, needs. And there's no doubt about it, you feel the tightening of the belt mm -hmm. because of just the uncertainty that lies ahead. Um, so it's hard to do any forecasting, fiscal forecasting right now with any accuracy or, you know, reliability, just given so much is still unknown. Um, but the, the person that asked that question is absolutely right. We, hospitals are already operating on thin margins to begin with, and the recovery, the financial recovery, will be a slow process, mm -hmm. and it very well can change uh, what a, a lot of hospitals look like, the services that they continue to offer. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what the, what the future holds.